that. Good morning. Go ahead, keep going. And welcome to the Church of the Angel. We are an independent, non-denominational, interfaith, spiritualist assembly. All who enter here are valued for their unique qualities. We gather in safe community to worship as equals in an exchange of energy through love, thought, and communication. <laughs> My name is Carol Miller, and I am your facilitator today. Service is being recorded today and will be posted online at Facebook and our website. The recording will be stopped before messages are given to respect the sacredness of working with spirit. In true spiritualist tradition, our service celebrates all four aspects of meeting. The first is the uniting of our vibrations through music, prayer, and quiet reflection. The second offers spiritual healing. The third embraces inspiration and thought through inspiration and thought exchange. And finally, we communicate messages from spirit. We will be together here for a little more than an hour today. Face mask or shield are optional. Please continue to practice social distance, distancing. There will be no fellowship time. White and hand sanitizer is available if desired. The Church of the Angels tries to be in, as inclusive as possible and invite those of all opinions and backgrounds to join us for our services. All speakers are prompted to leave politics and any politically charged topic outside of our gatherings. This is to promote a spiritual unity. We know that our true selves are always united in love. If you are interested in sharing your passion and knowledge with our congregation, please contact Fran Dittrich, who is scheduling speakers at this time. Fran over there. And if you would like to serve as a facilitator, facilitator as I am doing now, please contact Reverend Joey Wan. I want to mention that if you wish to make a donation, you can do so through the Church of the Angels website, and you will have the opportunity to make your donation a recurring one if you choose. There is a separate donation page on the web Site, and on that page, you will be able to choose where or what your donation is for. Here in our church space, we will not be passing the baskets for safety. They will be located throughout the room. Thank you to all those who have donated and helped us to stay strong through this time. Now, please rise for our first hymn. Anthony will play for us, then remain standing for our opening prayer. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Nothing. 
Mother, Father, Infinite Spirit, thank you for your blessing on those who have joined here today to honor your work and experience your grace and wisdom. Thank you for providing the appropriate thoughts, insights, actions, and all resources for us to gain a better and truer understanding of your love by the word spoken, the song sung and by the messages and healing brought forth here today so that we might be healthy, happy, and prosperous lives. Thank you for showing us the way to accept our responsibility for our lives. We are grateful to know you are with us always. And I would like to do um, the Buddhist prayer for forgiveness. For those of us who are coming out of a Christian tradition, it's the first Sunday in Advent in preparation for Christmas. But I think the Buddhist prayer is so fitting for today. So continue in prayer. If I have harmed anyone in any way, either knowingly or unknowingly, through, our, through my own confusion, I ask their forgiveness. If anyone has harmed me in any way, either knowingly or unknowingly, through their own confusion, I forgive them. And if there is a situation I am not yet ready to forgive, I forgive myself for that. For all ways that I harm myself, negate, doubt, belittle myself, judge, or be unkind to myself through my confusion, I forget myself. Amen. Thank you. This is a sacred assembly to avoid interruptions and maintain the sacred nature of the service. All phones and or recording devices are to be turned off throughout the entire service. We will be recording 
the podium area only so that we can share this service with others online. I'm going to ask Dale to turn off my phone too. <laughs> he even knows what housing a person is. <laughs> Yeah, wouldn't that be awful if mine went on, or if anybody went on? Announcements. Now is the time for announcements. You can join the Church of the Angels on meetup.com to get a schedule of events. Visit our website at www.thechurchoftheangels.net or find us on Facebook. Membership forms can be requested via mail. Or, they, or if you are interested in becoming a, male, a member, please fill out the form and return it to the church's email, at, um, email address. Okay, and now we've got some weekly announcements too. Um, next Sunday, December 5th, is our spirit message service. This service will be abbreviated and the memorial tribute for Reverend Walt Fesser can begin around noon. We are planning to continue the celebration at Tavern 6 in Kirkland at approximately 2 p.m. We will be responsible for our own meals and beverages. The church is accepting donations to be presented to Reverend Walt's partner, Jeannie, and her friend and her children. If you haven't made your donation yet, please do so today by giving it to Reverend Jenny or Ann Chandy. Chaney, yeah, she's not here. I thought Chaney, um, but Rev, uh, Reverend Jenny's here. So you can, um, so we can give a gift to Jeannie um, with the memorial. Thank you. The church directory has begun to come together. If you would like to be included with your contact information and any business info, please see Reverend Jenny or email your info to the church. Please check the website newsletter meetup or Facebook for current information and also the bulletin board. There are uh, lots of exciting opportunities coming up in the next few months. You can connect with us through Facebook at the Church of the Angels Cleveland. Please help us by promote, uh, to promote our church and its events by reposting and sharing the church's Facebook post. And now's the time for um, our statement of principles. Please join me silently as I read our statement of principles. If you would like a copy, you can find it on our website. There is one creative force of which all life is a part. This one creative force is known by many names and manifestations. We recognize and honor the many names and manifestations of the one creative force, the source of all creation, one in God. The energy of life everywhere is continuous. All consciousness is continuous. Communication is continuous. The energy of life, consciousness, and communication never cease even after the event that is perceived as death. One creates one's own reality. One creates in harmony with the one creative force, the great power of God of which all life is a part. Reality is as one chooses to perceive and will change as one grows in the knowledge of the inner self and one's relationship with the God of his understanding. All things are possible with faith, insight, knowledge, understanding, acceptance, and love. Love is the unifying energy of the universe. 
love is the energy of the one creative force, the wisdom of God. All life and all mankind are one in the creatorship and healing force of love and with each other. Love is within us and of us. Love is never apart from us. It is we who separate ourselves from the power of love. The force of God works through love and love alone. Sure. Now we will have a few moments of quiet meditation so that we may concentrate on going within to find peace, calm, and healing for ourselves and the world.
take your time, come back to the present. Please remember that we are always connected to each other and the divine. Use this peace and calm to take care of yourselves and those around you in your community and throughout the world in whatever way you can. And please add silently or aloud the names of those you wish to include in this healing campus. Thank you. It is now time for inspiration and thought exchange. Brought to us by today's speaker, we invite everyone to address our assembly with words of inspiration, lessons learned, and passionate ideas. Every opinion expressed here is strictly that of the person who gives it. Let us consciously and lovingly agree to disagree if it does not resonate with us. And our speaker is Lydia Plesha. Plesha. But Lydia, I didn't get your topic. Oh, um, Unity, that's right, you told me last, last week. Um, and yeah. she's going to fill us in a little bit of on her background because we didn't have her bio um, here today. And so it's my pleasure to introduce Lydia Plesha. <laughs> I gotta say, I, I love the love. The applause, I you know, it's just fun. Okay. I wanna um just get ready. Okay. Well, I am um, it is such a pleasure for me to be here and to be able to share who I am with all of you. And uh I um I I didn't write notes and I'm feeling proud of that because this is all from my heart. Everything I'm going to share with you today is not just about me, but a, about how I experience life and how I exper experience all of you. And I look forward to the nervousness to go away, which I'm planning to soon. <laughs> Um, I wrote down one note page for myself because I want, this is my end and I want to, and, and I just wanted to show you, I mean, I got arrows and all this floppy, you know, but when I first did this last year, look how neat I did. I'm just so proud of myself. <laughs> how neat I did that. But anyway, okay. I'm just sharing, you know, it helps me calm down. <laughs> anyway. Um, Unity, I mean, they named churches after unity. Um, I mean, they use that as their title in their church because that's what we, it's really a big lesson we need to learn in this lifetime is to remember that we're all one. And um, thank you for that song, Anthony, because that was the one that I had in mind, but I didn't want to say it because I liked your opinion and it came, you came up with it. I didn't ask for it. And I... But imagine, because it is a wonderful, powerful song, and it is what I am here to talk about today is unity um, and a few other things, but mainly to remember how important it is, because in history, you know, we're always being separated in so many different ways, and I, I did have that note, but I lost that one, but it's okay. It's okay. I, I have it in my head anyway. I mean, before we go to that, I just want to talk about the church first because the church of the angels means so much to me. And I, I want to share that with you all because it's a big part of who I am. And um, I was introduced a year ago and 
at 20, well, you know, January, 2020. And right before, you know, everything hit the fan, if you know what I mean. <laughs> anyway, um, and my niece, my sister's daughter is the one who brought me here. And she happens to be one of my favorite people in my life. And uh, she's the girl over there, Samantha. <laughs> 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 Sorry. <laughs> I, I know she doesn't like what I do that. She's not, she's a quiet person, you know. <laughs> she is. I, I have to honor myself because I love her so freaking much. And she's a red person. <laughs> she's a red person. Red. red. Blushing. Oh, that's why. Thank you for explaining. Because <laughs> you don't look like it. Anyway. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but okay, anyway. I know she's like that. But anyway, it's okay. I love her everything. I love her all everything about you. Anyway. Okay, so she um, thinks a lot of how I do, and that's why she brought me here. And uh, well, that's not why she brought me here, but that doesn't matter why she brought me here. <laughs> I don't even want to go there. You know, um, I it was it was wonderful. It was a great day for me. <laughs> I uh, I met my friend Ernie, who uh, he was the speaker that day, first day we we're here, and I I never give him any credit, so I'm going to give him credit now. <laughs> and that is is that. He's been a true friend to me. He really cares about me enough to know who I am. And he helps me in every way. Um, when I go out of town for several months, he takes care of my house. And I sincerely don't have to worry about it at all. It's so wonderful. Very grateful for you, Ernie. I just wanted to tell you that. <laughs> I mean, the people I love, I mean, I could say I love Barb. I could go, you know, down the line with everybody. I feel I love everybody here. It's the truth. I mean, I'm not just saying that. I, that's an, I'm a real, I, I've been told I'm a real person, you know, I'm authentic, whatever you want to call it. And it is true. I, I am that. If anything, that's probably my be best attribute that I am. Well, it's my heart. And I learned that from my mom. And I give my mom that credit too. Because my mom taught me how to love. And I do love that. And, you know, I don't have, you know, I, I forget, I just want to sit respect, you know, Carol, you know, I, I didn't, Go over my bio. I said I was thinking of doing it, but I, all I can tell you is that about who I am, uh, there's no long list of all my, you know, all the good things about me. I just am a person on earth who really wants to just experience love every day, and and this is to go without any teachings. This is just a natural thing. I just love to feel love and love to be with people. People are what makes me live, have energy. It's what makes me tick. I, I love to be around people. Not everybody feels that way. I've learned that and that's just their path. And I'm very, very um, what do you, uh, understanding of that. I, I understand people's shortcomings. I have no problem with it. People don't have to be like me. And I've learned that long, long time ago. And, uh, but you know, when I think about the crowds of people I hung around in Los Angeles, because I lived there for 35 years, um, and I now back to Cleveland because I was born here, and I, you know, I, my family's here, like Samantha, and <laughs> anyway, um, I, uh, I, why was I telling you? I'll remember in a minute. That's a, that's a, a civil mind control thing. I'll remember in a minute. You know, it's a program because we have computers. <laughs> it's like, I'll remember if I don't think about it, <laughs> but okay, let's hope. Oh yeah, thank you. My, <laughs> I love you, thank you. <laughs> yes, and it was about the people I hung around in Los Angeles. And anybody want to help me? I love help. I have no problem, no ego there. Um, I, the people in Los Angeles, the friends that I hung around were my neighbors and, the, and, I, and I loved them, but they really weren't like mine, like all of you. Everybody who comes to this church are like mine because they don't feel scared. To come to this I mean, some people are actually afraid to come because I mean, it's, I hate to say that, but you know, it is the truth. Uh, it's just that they just don't know. They just don't have the knowledge that there's nothing to be afraid of whatsoever. <laughs> but, um, okay. This church is a spiritual church and there's mediums here. There's people who can, are, can connect like we all can connect, every single one of us, and even people who don't know that, they can connect too. And um, I uh, have, it really helped me in my spiritual growth to experience mediums 
in 2003 when my father passed. And I really, it really changed my life. I really, it, it made me realize that it's, we're not, it's not about our, our, our bodies on earth. It's about our souls, our, and that's who we really are. And um, spirituality, and, and that's the spiritual church, they use that word. It's, it's about spirituality. And, and that is why I wanted to talk about unity, because in the world we live in, and my path has took me through, you know, a lot of education about people. Being in Los Angeles is a large amount of everything you can imagine. There's just so many different religions and so many different people. And I learned to love them all. And I have a lot of uh, respect for people's beliefs, even if they're not my own. I, I love to be able to think what I want to think. And that's a really wonderful thing. But um, getting back to something that's not easy to talk about, but I have to talk a little bit about it, but only to share who I am. Not because I want to teach people or you know talk political, because I don't want to talk political, because it's not spiritual. And that's what we're here for, is to, to be uplifted and to be to where we have always been, and that is in love. And um, I just wanted to say that the separation, and I've been talking about this since the beginning, you know, when I have a minute on Zoom, I, I used to say the same thing all the time, that the, the world, the, the media has put, it just puts an energy out there that separates. And there's so many different ways. But this has been going on before media. This has been going on for all the time, because with, with separation, there's easier way to them to control us. And who's the people controlling us? The people who run the world. I don't like to think about that anymore. I've come, I've grown from these type of thoughts to the thoughts of we, oh, I'll remember. <laughs> this, you, know, you can't help me with because I, I, I didn't, Give you a clue on this one <laughs> but uh okay i'll i'll back up <laughs> because uh, anyway um you know it's 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 the uh, um I, I when i'm here with you guys <laughs> what i think about here i'm okay with this because i love to be able to watch other people that's what i'll, I'll just change the subject and come back i want to talk about the church again about how much I, I I love everything about it and last week you know with Thanksgiving and all there was uh, some speakers uh, two Sundays because we get the evening we have zoom every third Sunday and that's at seven o'clock uh, eastern time and uh, Carol spoke and and then there's another lady over there uh, Reverend Barbara she spoke uh, in the morning and it was they were both talked about gratitude which was awesome i mean both of them did an amazing job it was just i i want to go back and take notes that's why i love the recording so uh, so anyway i <clears throat> the gratitude we all know it how powerful it is but it needs to be said often because you know it's easy to be brought down like the media does to us <laughs> and i've seen it over and over this isn't this is no lie this is the truth we we hear these horrible things that happen and it's hard to remember who we are. It's hard to remember that we're spiritual beings. We're, we're our energy. Speaking of energy, um, and it's, this is important. I learned this years ago. This is like in the 80s, uh, 1980s. Uh, Corellian photography, it's a real thing. They take a, a camera that takes a picture of, of a living thing, like a leaf, for instance. If they tear the leaf, the, the picture of the photography, and they take a picture after they of the leaf the leaf is still there and i it might dissipate later but i don't know that for sure and, and you know whatever you learn things change and there's new technology that we don't even get to hear about anymore these days but anyway 
the point is, is that energy is what we all are. And we need to always keep this in mind because, because we are, it, it's like focused time where we, let me rephrase that. Words are powerful. I learned that last week. <laughs> I learned that every day, how powerful words can be. And then I don't even like words. I'd rather just uh, not use words at all. Telepathy is a thing I'm looking forward to mastering in my life with people. I just, that way it's easier. And I, I have to say, a lot of the people in my life, I love how they disclaim everything. Just like I've done my whole life. I don't want to hurt anyone. I don't want to insult anyone. So I always disclaim myself before I say it because I just want people to know that I mean the best. And a lot of my family members know that about me. You know, I'm so glad that they know that I come from love <laughs> because, you know, you get real honest with people, <laughs> and, but they know that I mean, you know, I have good intentions, whatever. Anyway. Um, okay. It's time for water. <laughs> okay. Now, when we talk about unity, we talk about what we want, not what we don't want. Just going to say one thing about what we don't want. Long time ago, <clears throat> there was the separation. They started with rich and poor. They started with black and white. Um, there's just always these different, I mean, you know, Republican, Democrat. I mean, it just constantly goes down the line and <sighs> masked, unmasked, back and back. <laughs> I don't even like to say these things. But that is the separation we deal with. But when I look at people, when I'm with people, I don't look at that. I look at their soul. I look at their love and who they are. And that's what we always need to remember because this is, you know, I don't even say we're in a battle anymore because I used to say this, you know, it, you know, 2020, I was like, God, we're in war. And this is what I felt because of what was happening to us and, and the people around me. I could see the difference in people. And I, it's just, but I don't even want to be in war anymore. I, I'm, I would love for us to heal as soon as possible for all this negative things that have been taking place in the world. I just, that's just where my focus is. And um, wow. Well, I'm gonna now read what I, I think I'm ready to do that. <laughs> so um, let me think one more thing before I end up wrapping this up. Um, I want to encourage people in this church to put energy into it in any way they can, because it makes us so much more exciting. And <laughs> we can have more people here, and and um, and everybody has something to offer. Every one of you, and when people come up here and and offer themselves, it is such a pleasure to learn from a different perspective and. This is just an amazing, I couldn't even thought this up, this church. This is like, like a gift. I just love this. So please keep this in mind to, you know, everybody asks for donations in churches. That's normal. But what is money? It's, it's energy. So please put energy into it any way you can. If you can't put any, then use money. But if you can't, if you can't put money, use the other thing. I just want to say this because one, a few people can't, you know, we do the best we can, but if you do, if more people put energy into it, it just could be really awesome. <laughs> it's just more for all of us. So I just wanted to throw that out. <laughs> but anyway, um, okay. Now I choose to believe that we are here and that I'm here to save humanity. Now, what I mean is, is that there's a lot of, crazy things in this world that I don't even want to bring up, but you all know it. You'll hear it all the time. But um, 
I don't know about you, but I know how bad it is out there. I know the corruption. I know the, the agendas at play. I also know there has to always been agendas at play. There always has been agendas out there. This is nothing new. And this world has always experienced corruption. This is nothing new. This has been going on a long time. I already said but And we have always been manipulated too. I mean, the manipulation that goes on with the media is just amazing. It's, it's fascinating. But we can also take that same kind of technique that they use, and we can use it for love and good. I am here to help. I'm here to, to help rebuild, to help humanity ascend, to help we need to remember that is why we are here. This is why we're here. You know, I mean, there's a lot of different reasons why people may believe we're here, but there, I mean, it's personal, I suppose, but for me, I just love keep doing what I'm doing and enjoy my life and and love every one of you and and receive love back. It's so much fun. I, I don't know, but um anyway, I uh, I think that's all for me today, but I plan to do better next time. As always. <laughs> anyway, thank you. No, oh, yeah, great. Maybe I'll and there's probably some questions or comments. Let's see what's out there. Yeah. Sure. Uh, just to no, that's, that's exactly what we're doing. We're waking up the program and how we're told to feel a certain way for certain aspects. We're bringing light. When you become aware of it, then you can do something. You're not even aware that it's happened. You can't do anything. That's true. So what Education. we're doing is we're, we're learning how to you know, make sense of what's going on. I appreciate that so uh, much. So much. That's what it's really good. Thanks, Mark. Yeah, thank, thank you for coming on here. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Anybody else have anything? <laughs> okay. Well, I guess that's good. That's good. I want to say uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. thanks for uh, some things that some things are hard to talk about. Thank you. Some things are hard to talk about. Not to the process of life, but Thanks, Anthony. I, I appreciate that so much. And I, I just want everyone to remember how powerful we really are and that we can just create whatever we want, just like in our principles, our statement of principles are something that maybe we need to read every day to help us remember how powerful we really are. Thank you. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. I just want to say one more thing. Yeah, more. sure. You no, know, we're all here together. You know, spiritual time together because we're all waking up. That's what spirituality is. Wake up. Mm -hmm. That's what we're all doing. It's like our <laughs> Literally. No. <laughs> no <I'm> just <laughs> Yeah. Hi. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay. Um, yeah, uh, go ahead. Let let uh, Sally go first. On that's okay. Go ahead. Go ahead, Sally. Yeah. I think I should be able to get to a couple of questions. Uh, but uh, it's, it's interesting. Wake up and realize the anger I was I was having was was from outside outside life, and I finally woke up and and I first. And what that happens is that one test when I went to I'm going, oh. I went to the book a few years ago. And uh, it's very interesting how you are maneuvered or controlled by outside influences that 
make you angry and make you frustrated. And then you go, it really doesn't have anything to do with you. And they make you angry. It really has to do with Skip from books or learn something because this child at my age can make me feel and feeling better. <laughs> That's great, Sally. Thank you for sharing That's that. Awesome. That's really great. <laughs> Gary, did you want to say something? She got okay, bad sorry, <laughs> Yeah, no. Oh, sure. Uh, just one second, Fran. Uh, uh, Dale wanted to say something. Go ahead, Dale. So, I'd like to kind of combine the last three things we said, which is that our thoughts truly are powerful, and there's so much that we can create, but, but it was also right that what was said about the, there's all these other forces out there, and they have effects on, on, on us, and so uh, we shouldn't get down on ourselves when we can't create something, because sometimes there's other forces out there that are preventing it, so, uh, so. So yes, we can create a whole lot, but maybe not everything. So let's not uh, uh, expect too much of us. That's right. Thank you. Thank you, Dale. Fran? else has anything else but right. it's just wonderful to hear any other things anybody
Okay, well, thank you. Thanks, everybody. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Lydia, for probably one more uh, conversation. Okay, let's see. Healing and messages to usher in our time for truth and messages from spirit. Please rise for our next hymn. I was told a couple months ago that people might be wearing this so here it is.
to preserve the sacredness of it. Okay. Amen. Thank you.